Court matter for Judge Joe Brown. The plaintiff in this case says he made several loans to the defendant, an exotic dancer. He says he thought they were dating. We're going to hear from his witness, his mother. Let's listen in. Had she ever paid you back? No, she has not ever so paid me a dime. So you gave her the stuff, the money, and loaned it to her, and she never paid you anything back? She has never gave me a dime. So you kept loaning her money? Yeah. Were you in love with her? Um, I, I, thought, I thought it was mutual with her. And well, she you had, do say you thought you were in love with her? Yes, sir. And you thought it was a mutual thing? I thought it was a mutual thing, yes, sir. Well, that's why I mean, you I'm did, not, didn't you? I'm, I'm never further a relationship if I didn't think it was, it was ongoing. If you didn't think it was ongoing, you wouldn't have continued in this and you wouldn't have get, let her borrow the money? Yes, sir. I, would not, I wouldn't have kept well, on Now, you loan money, money to somebody that you love, or do you give it to them? I, I usually give it to them, but I didn't know I was betrayed. Okay, so what you're saying is you want to change it to a loan after you found out you got betrayed? No, Your Honor. No. Well, if you loved her, why are you going to give her a loan up front rather than giving it to her? He always said that he was giving it to me, and I really think that he's a really nice guy and everything, and I made the mistake of becoming friends with him, but I think he took it a little farther in his head than it really was. Seems you know? like you're a little overwhelming as far as he's concerned, right? Yeah. Okay. You kind of called the shots, and he was after you, right? I don't, I don't know how it was. I was just being friends with him, and I don't know how it... He got in a little over his head. You seem a little bit more sophisticated than he is, right? I guess Put it so. mildly. All right, let's hear from your mother. What do you know about this, ma'am? Well, what she says... So state um, your name, by oh, the way. Who are you? Ravonna. I'm explaining. I'm, I'm from Anthony's mother. All right. What do you know about this? Well, now that he's out of money, it's basically she doesn't need him anymore, is what it comes down to it. She's, and what was that? Because he was buying her, he, she actually asked him if he would buy all the stuff that we had made the list for. Is there anything new about that? Happens all through history, doesn't it? Well, okay, let's put it this way. You give up one loan, you don't get it paid back. You give up another loan, you don't get it paid well, back. You give up another loan, you don't get it paid back. He just got the money in March. I took it, refinanced my house, and he paid all his bills off, and he got You bought. gave the money to him. Right. How old is he? He's 20. 20, all right. Is he working? Yeah. You paid his bills off. I paid his bills off. He makes the payment. Well, maybe he needs to learn in life that every woman that he runs into is not going to treat him like his mother does. Well, all his mother. But but he can't expect every woman he runs into to be straight up and down up front with him or to provide for him. Somebody may be out for themselves. Not saying that that's what she's doing. Well, that's exactly where she was. Judge Joe Brown makes his ruling after this. But the bottom line is he's going to a strip joint every night. That's about what's happening here? Yeah, I was there. You going there every night? I was there, every I was night. there a lot, yeah. It sounds but like you're obsessed with her, right? It, it wasn't obsessed because of who she was. I, I had not ever, I, I even had told her that I'm not there to see her dance. Well, what are you there for? And she, she told, I told her that I wanted to see her more at her apartment. And I was going to her apartment, not only at the club. But right? you're going to the club uh, quite often. I was going to the club quite often. See her? Yeah, I had to talk to her, yeah. Every night? Almost every night. Almost every night. Mm -hmm. You're obsessing. Now, that means you felt something for her, right? Not obsessive, but... Well, well you felt something right. for her. And you obsessive just got through saying word. that you're not going to make a loan to somebody you love. You're going to give them something, right? But what right. the problem is, is you found out what the real deal was. She wasn't returning your affection. You say that's a loan. Well, she told me that she was going to pay me back the money. $600. I, you no, agree that you're going to pay never, me back $600? She never said, she never I agree said that, that she was going to pay I, me back I told him around. over and over again, Tony, I want to pay you that $600 back. I just want it to be a loan. And he said, I, the only way I'm going to give it to you is if it's a gift. And, she, Your you Honor, said I she never gave me a dollar. You no, said that, no, all right. You agree that you owe him $600? I agreed that I owed him six hundred. All right, yes. now let's put it this way: what our job is is what? What's her job? What's her job? Yeah, what did she do? Get money off of men. No, what is? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and who's in the club? Men. Right. And she dances, right? Right. It's called strip teasing, right? Right. She's but teasing. At the club. You got teased. At the Chalk club. it up to a less than life. She says she owes you six hundred dollars. That's what the court's judgment's for, $600. You acknowledge that? There we go. This court is in recess, yes. folks. If you'll step out and sit your right. And the plaintiff walks away with $600 in this case. We'll find out what the litigants have to say about the verdict when we come back. I'm just glad it's over with, and I'll never trust him again. I was never I, dating him. He was an obsessive regular that came into my club to see me every night. And 
thought that I was his girlfriend and he stalked me and everything else.